We're here at PCML in March in Cambridgeshire. Now they have four sites and across the four sites they have in excess of 50 machines. Now they've asked us to come along today to talk about a machine that you've had for three years now. Yep. And the success that it's had for you, hasn't it? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's revolutionised what we can do, uh, turning parts around, quite honestly. So let's start with, what is it as a business that you're producing and what industries are you talking to? So we work, uh, do a lot of work in life science, digital printing, that, that type of thing, that's, that's the majority of what we do. And so where does this machine come into it? What kind of area of the business is this tailoring? It, it covers all areas of what we're doing. It's, it's anything that will fit on the machine goes on the machine. And so in terms of batch sizes, tell me about what you're producing on here. So it's nice to think that you've got a machine with 32 pallets and you're going to go, I've got to look for lots and lots of jobs that are all 50 offs, 100s offs. You don't need to do that. You know, with the, with the skill of the guys that we've got running the machine, so the programming at the front end, the setting and the continuous monitoring, you can do, you can do one offs right through to hundreds off. And that's worth it? Yes. You know, you, you, if, if we can we can run a, a one-off, lights out, it, it's, you know, you, you come in the next morning, you've got, you've got a group of jobs already finished that you, you need to check them, obviously. You might need to do a few changes. But if you've run that, lights out, cost is down. So what is it about the design and capability of this machine that works so well for you? Well, it's, it comes in, it's, it's full five axis. Um, You've got 32 pallets, so you can hold a multitude of parts per pallet, so the number of components you can actually hold in any one time is, well, the fixturing is the limitation. It's, it's you know, whatever you want it to be. The capability to hold up to 320 different tools, you, you know, it adds then to, you can have multiple jobs remain permanently set up. You can add sister tooling, you know, you get a problem, the tap breaks, rejects that pallet and then carries on working because it picks a different tool. Your operator was talking to me before this interview and talking about how successful the RIM software has been for pre-empting a tool breakage. So how's that working for you? Because that's important when you're doing lights out running. Yes, it is. It, uh, what they're able to do before the end of their shift, they're allowed to, they're capable of accessing the RIM software, which then looks forward through all of the programs that they've loaded against the pallets it identifies any tools that are possibly missing or where we need extras. And it can identify the tool life so you can set a life to it. So number of uses for a tap or you know something similar. They can identify what's going on and replace it before they leave. So lights out is lights out. So where does that allow more efficiencies for your workforce then? Well, our efficiencies are gained by the fact that the operator can then go off and do other tasks. The machine set, it, it could run for in excess of 24 hours if you load the right jobs to it. So that means machines, it's not far and forget, but they're able to do other work on other machines that aren't pallet loaded. They're able to ensure that all the work pieces are prepared, ready to go onto this machine, build tooling for the next job, all while the machine is running. So you've got a lot of machines here and a lot of them haven't got that automation. You do have some with automation, but some don't. Where and how do you schedule what goes on this machine above any other machine? So the Matsura gets scheduled as the first, first machine. So with what we've got going on, you're looking, the ideal is to look for quantity, you know, a batch quantity, uh, material type. So have we got something similar dependent on what our customer call off on certain orders we have so we'll we'll have um, call off orders that we're trying to hit uh, every month and then that allows overspill to go on to other machinery and the way we are doing the work holding so we we don't hold round parts on this machine so everything's billeted and effectively from from scratch everything's op 10. So what would you say, in essence, this has done for your business? You're putting components on here first, if not, it kind of goes uh, to other areas of the business, the components. So what has it done for you? It's allowed us to stay at the, um, the forefront of, of production in what we do. It's uh, able us to extend hours without having to put night shifts on. 
you know, and, and pay expensive you know, tariffs to, to work night shifts. It's also enabled us to uh, investigate other areas of the business that could do with automation because we're already using automation with this machine. Yeah. And and pushing forward like that, the, the, the industry drought of skilled people, you know, we're, we're able to maintain a, 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 a leaner staffing crew and they're very keen to use the machine because this is at the forefront of the technology that they want to use.